This is the 11th video in a series on setting up a character to use Human IK in Maya 2012. In this video I'm just going to show you how to characterize um, the character and then add the control rig. In another video I'll cover the basics of the uh, Human IK system um, controls. So the first thing is this has a little bit of a quirk. Window, animation editors, Human IK, skeleton generator. When I bring this up my character will likely collapse. It's a really weird bug. Um, I just press undo one time and everything goes back to the way it was. So I'm not exactly sure what's causing that but an undo takes care of it so um, not a huge deal. Um, to characterize this you just go up to the lock button in the skeleton generator and click that and your buddy was characterized successfully. If you've not been following along and doing this with the skeleton generator there's a whole separate tool for this called the characterization tool and this tool basically you go through and you double click on a cell and then you select the associated joint on your character until you have um, everything matched up and basically the way it works with human IK is whatever you see here um, all these cells that are green here these are the required cells um, for this to work and then there are optional cells if you click into little arrows you can see I can add a bunch more spine I can add a bunch more neck joints I could add all the fingers all that kind of business so everything that you see here these are required um, everything that's inside these little dropouts here um, they are uh, optional and then you would just lock it uh, here and that would uh, create your characterization um, the other useful thing about this characterization tool is if your character has any issues they'll show up and be reported here and the cell will turn some other color other than green if it's totally wrong it'll turn red and this will um, look like a little stop sign and be red and you won't be able to characterize and it'll give you some sense of why that's the case if you have some other issue like your arms are sort of a little bit more down into an A pose or so then it'll just give you a warning and this will turn into kind of the yield looking sign that'll be yellow and it'll just say it looks like your arms aren't parallel to the x-axis and then either it's up to you to make a, make a change uh, to that or just go on with it if you keep your arms in an A pose basically what it does is it'll set up all the controls in the right places but the orientations of those controls will be incorrect so instead of aligning with the axis of the arm if your arms angled down like this the controller will still aim uh, or orient perfectly vertically like this so it's just a little bit of a misorientation it's not a huge deal but um, it can get in the way that's why it's recommended just to go ahead and uh, have your character set in a T pose if you're going to use human IK okay uh, once that's set up uh, you can do this from a few different places, but I'll just show you from the uh, character controls themselves. So I just drop down the same path here to character controls. And my character is already selected in this drop down, so I'll just come to this blue arrow, pull down to, um, I'm sorry, the source, and set that to control rig. And that'll automatically create a control rig for you. And you can see here it's automatically created and you see it adds a yellow skeleton uh, on here that drives your uh, your actual skeleton and then it dri drives an IK control rig um, as well. And again I'll cover um, how to actually use this control rig in another video but this is, uh, this is just to get everything set up. So this should be good to go. Um, you can actually control uh, add a control rig from other windows like the skeleton generator. Uh, you can create a control rig from this drop down um, here but sometimes this one will fail and give you a little error message that says you have to you've done this out of order or whatever if you see that error message uh, don't worry about it it's actually not uh, right uh, you can go to the character controls and just set it up through this, this procedure just go to source and then control rig and it will create the control rig as it should um, so that's it for um, making uh, or adding the controls it's one of the really nice things about the human IK system is you get this really advanced uh, control system and it's a it's a button you basically just click a button you have to make sure you have all the joints um, that the system requires but then you just click a button and you have this really sophisticated rig okay so in the next video I'll cover um, actually using the control set